Responsive design is the new buzzword in the programming world and for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to achieve that. Now the very first and personally to me the most important tag you have to put in your HTML document is this meta tag. Uh, it's meta uh, name equals viewport viewport content equals content equals width equals device dash uh, width yeah width equals device width and then you just close this tag here what this basically means is um on on mobile phones the screen resolutions are quite big however this will just basically say do uh display this in the in the default device width so for the iPhone I think it's uh, 480 pixels but we'll get onto that in, in the in where whilst this tutorial progresses so you have that tag here so you know you're gonna go into your style sheet now and this is when things don't get difficult but this is where all the, the magic happens for instance let's say so you you want to start off here here you would have your normal CSS uh, that's the way I built the uh, the last site I made and then all you just do for when you want to program for your for your mobile design is you want to do at media only screen and max width 480 px only screen whoops and max device width 480px and then you just open your curly brackets and just put everything in and now if I spot everything correctly and screen up This part of the uh, of the of the query basically means that you can test your your website without actually having to keep on uploading it and then checking it on your phone. So you can test this on a web browser, for instance. If you um, but this will also mean that if you design it so your website so that it can be resized on a normal web browser, that means you keep this in. If not, you will drop that out. I personally don't like it. Because <laughs> uh, I like cause of the way Walkleft Studios design my websites, this doesn't really work. It will for the next one, which I will show you. Um, because I am planning to show you the um, I'm planning to build my next website and I'm screen capture it for you. So what? Uh, so this will work for the iPhone. For the iPad, however, the screen's a bit bigger. So you drag that down here. It's seven six eight. Say pixels seven six eight pixels and for other phones it's just three twenty px copy and pasting us brilliant three twenty px three twenty px um I'm just thinking if I've missed out anything for you uh yes yes I have Basically, you can either do it this way, as in having the having one style sheet for your entire document. However, you could also do it differently, and instead of having this CSS here, you can add a media query in here, and the media query will be exactly the same as what we have in the um in this in this CSS file. So, for instance, what you would do is you would uh, where is it link? CSS file media and then uh, only screen and max divide. Okay, we just max width 480px, comma. Uh, what is it? Uh, only screen and max device width 
is 4.18 p.m. as well. Um, I'm just thinking if I've missed anything else. I suppose you pretty much. So basically, that's what you would do. That is it. And this will mean that if the if when it's loaded, if this uh, the screen width is de uh, determined to be 480p pixels. This is the star sheet that will be that will be loaded. And if you wanted to add another one, you just do the same here. Yep, and then you just put 320 here, 320 there, etc. etc. So basically, it's, it's really simple once you get the hang of it. Um, but yeah, that is all there is to the media query. Uh, in the next one, I will be showing you how to uh, check for media queries using JavaScript. As usual, thank you very much for watching.